Hello and welcome, Zamora Gaming fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora, here bringing you week two of the PML draft. And after that week one win with that 2 0 crit, we found out the crit did not matter. So we are good to go. We deserve that win. And now let's hope we deserve another one because we are about to face Azula. And uh, they beat the Rillagoons last week pretty bad. Coach of the Don Dozo. Uh, 5-0 with a uh, abominable sweep under Trick Room. So we are prepared for Trick Room. Uh, if they don't bring Trick Room, that's not going to hurt us too much. Um, we do have some counters and some people to taunt. Uh, turned out most of our team can taunt and stuff. So yeah, that's where we're at right there. I'm going to go ahead and lead Batmobile. Uh, I don't know what they'll lead, but I do want to get the spikes up on the field. Uh, they don't have a defogger or anything, so that's great for us. But if they get webs and spikes on our side, that could be a problem because we don't have a remover either. Well, we didn't bring our remover in uh, Corvus Squire. So, pretty much if stuff gets stuck, stuff gets stuck, you know? So, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, if he leads Fortress, we are going to overheat right out of the gate. Get a free switch out into something and then hit hard on the next turn. And we might have to deal with the layer of spikes or stealth rocks for the whole game. If he doesn't lead that, or if Azula doesn't lead that, um, we get our spikes up. And see where it goes from there, depending on who they lead. Good luck, have fun. All right, Slow King is the Pokemon, and oh, it got stuck in the ground. But I'm okay with a trade off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the toxic spikes off. So, Slow King could hit us hard with a uh, psychic type move, which I don't mind. They could get off a free. Trick room, which is fine too. So we'll see what happens here. Definitely gonna get my spikes up though. They don't have any removal from what I said, from what I saw besides Fortress to spin. So that's just gonna be what we deal with there. All right. So I'm gonna get off my second layer of spikes. And they're going to probably go to Crabomitable now. No, Fortress. Okay. So they're going to get off their spikes. I mean, they're going to get off that. Um, I'm going to go for Overheat over Taunt. Because I'm okay with dealing with one layer of spikes if he doesn't Rapid Spin. But they do. Alright, so we're going to get the Overheat off. And that brings it down quite a bit. Didn't have to go to the sturdy if it did have sturdy. But now we get the free swap. And with Rapunzel, we're the slowest thing on the field. So I'm comfortable going there. And we should be able to kill here with the Dark Pulse. If I gend it correctly, we should be the slowest thing on the field. <laughs> so that means we're the fastest under trick room. Alright, so they don't want to test that. So they send back Slow King. We get our Dark Pulse off, and that doesn't do as much. Um, there's still trick room going. I'm going to go for the... Uh, 
I'm gonna go for the dark pulse again. Get the flinch, maybe. Nope. Chilly reception. Started to snow. Oh, okay. So that's right. It can switch out and go to another Pokemon here. And if there's still a turn of trick room. Uh, oh, Bear Tick. So is there still another turn of trick room? No, there's not. So what we're going to do in that case. Is. We're going to go back to Batmobile here. But Bear Tick's uh, defenses are boosted. And Bear Tick should be the fastest thing on the field. I don't want to waste my Terra on this. I'm sure it has Earthquake. But I don't want to waste John Deere either. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Iron Head. That should be neutral. And we should hit hard because we are max attack. Oh, we got a jet pack. Okay. So we do got to deal with uh, Slush Rush in this match. What do they decide to go to here? For abominable. Ironhead's gonna hurt though. Alright, that does over half. We should be able to kill here with another iron head. Based off that damage. And we should be faster. Nope, they're gonna switch. And they're going to go back to Slow King. Which is smart on their part. We're going to go ahead and go for the Iron Head again. And now we're going to go for Toxic Spikes. Because they're probably just going to hit us or switch out. And either way, we'll be faster and we'll get at least one layer off. But very pivotal match so far here on, uh, on their part. So we get the toxic spikes off once again. And Slokin goes for Surf, but that's not super effective. Oh, but it still does enough to hit us. The snow stopped. Okay. So we're going to go John Deere here, and we're going to Bolt Switch. We do not want that snow to get back up. But we also want to make sure we get the initiative on this thing. Hopefully the Volt Switch does enough. I know this thing is bulky. It should do enough. We are max attack. But we're also... Well, we're not max speed either. Yeah, yeah, we are. We are max speed just in case he brought Ro they brought Rotom with max speed. Oh, he withdraws. I don't think they have a ground type. So this is a free. This is free. Very free here. So toxic spikes there. We get the bolt switch. Oh, and that does a good chunk. Oh, it's a crit, but you know. Not too worried about that there. And now we go to Lone Wolf here. And we're going to go for the player rough. I don't know if uh, Crunch will do enough, and I don't want to risk it. So we're going to play rough here. The good thing about the hell that they have is not easily put up. He's got to live a hit. So Spirit Tomb takes a hit there.
So right now we got the speed on our side. It's cool though. We had the same idea with the eject pack, <laughs> eject pack move on that uh, set with his bear tick having a jet pack for close combat, and we had a, a jet pack for the overheat. So great minds think alike. So you, you know this is going to be a tough battle no, throughout, no matter what. But let's see what Azula decides to do here. We I do believe get first blood on that. That should be the first Pokemon gone. But now what happens here? So Slow King comes back in. And that's almost a full health Slow King. But now it's going to get poison. But our crunch should do enough. So I'm going to go for the... Uh, I'm going to go for the crunch. Okay, I go for the straight up crunch. Uh, I don't know how to check... Thing. I'm gonna go for the straight up crunch. I'm not gonna uh... Yeah, there we go. I wasn't I wanted to tear but I didn't think I needed to so I Didn't and now that slow king is gone Honestly don't know what can uh, revenge kill this lichen rock here, so we're just gonna keep swinging on things as, as far as I know Get for abominable comes in, but that's already been hit pretty hard. And that go ahead and take some uh, poison on that one. And we're going to go ahead and close combat. No point in risking the miss. And that thing goes down. And right now it's looking like Lone Wolf might get a sweep. I don't want to jinx it because the last time I said that, both times, <laughs> my sweeper got killed. Ugh. But I do love me Lycanroc. It's probably my second favorite most Pokemon in the game. All time. All time. Charizard is, of course, number one. Can never get beat by that. All right. So Bear Tick obviously is not Focus Sash. So we're just going to go ahead and close combat that as well. I should have. Um, I should have Terra there. Because he could have uh, Aqua, Aqua Jet. And that might be enough to kill us. So I fudged that. I fudged that. I fudged that there. Please don't have Aqua Jet. I would hope you wouldn't need that since you, you predicted you were gonna have Slush Rush the the whole match. I'm gonna assume they don't have it because they probably would have clicked it already by now. Oh, they're gonna Terra. Ooh. Did not expect that. What is he tear? What are they tearing into? Fairy, nice Terra type. I don't know why I didn't even think about tearing. But we're gonna go ahead and get that close combat off. It does a good chunk, but not enough. Now we are really low on defense, so we're gonna get taken out here. And brick break. Yep, we should have teared. Okay, but now we're faster than it. It's fairy typing. It's fairy typing. Not very effective. I'm gonna go safe here and go to John Deere and Thunderbolt. Yeah, I should be able to Thunderbolt the rest, uh, barring uh, Skeledurge, but at least I'll get it weak enough, so I'm going to go Thunderbolt. This should kill. It does. Beautiful. So yeah, see, I jinxed it again. My sweeper got, got knocked out. All right. Battles are exciting. Battles are exciting. Jesus. 
All right, so Fortress is going to come out. We're going to drop that. And then maybe we can two-shot the Skeledurge. I doubt it. But we should be able to revenge kill it with... Uh, with Roaring Moon, if anything. Viva Mexico! I changed the nickname on it from last week. Because the color scheme, I didn't realize, looked that great. For a Mexican themed nickname. Alright, Thunderbolt! <clears throat> How much does that do? A oh, good chunk. Torch Song, that's fine. I expected that to hurt. Alright, get this boost to special attack. It's well below the range and as far as i know it doesn't have any priority so viva mexico is going to come in and end this battle here and i'll just click crunch we're banded that's going to do it ggs to azula we didn't get swept today we almost did some sweeping but we didn't take into account uh we didn't take into account that we should have terrored against that bear tick because you know we just didn't take into consideration that it would terror there i just wanted to hit it hard with close combat and that didn't work out for me and we would have been immune to that brick break there but yeah there you go guys that's a gg we start off strong at 2-0 and, and we'll see you guys next week